Hi everyone. So now we will talk about use effect hook in uh, React Native. So basically, use effect hook is used for uh, life cycle method in functional component. So you can ask some questions to me like uh, we have lots of uh, life cycle methods in uh, uh, React and React Native. So do we have different different hooks for each and every life cycle methods? Actually, no. We have only one hook for life cycle methods, which is use effect. So we basically use some conditions and parameters with the use effect uh, hook and we can modify it for uh, uh, each and every life cycle method. Second question is here we are learning about uh, use effect hook or life cycle methods. So in functional component both are the same thing right. So whenever you want to use as, a, as I already told you like whenever you want to use uh, life cycle methods in functional component you must have to use use effect hook otherwise you cannot use uh, life cycle methods in functional component right uh, one more thing you can ask like uh, can we use uh, use effect hook in uh, class based component actually no we cannot use that all right so we will start with the uh, like what is uh, use effect hook even i already told you what is that but again i will try to explain it bit more after that we will learn how to use it how we can use it for mounting phase how we can use it for uh, component did mount what is that i'll explain whenever we'll just come on that point and uh, at last we will cover some important interview questions also so the first thing is uh, what is use effect hook see this is a feature which is uh, released in react 16.8 to use life cycle methods with functional component Lots of guys are actually confused. They think that uh, use effect hook and life cycle methods are different thing. No, actually for functional component, they both are similar thing. All right. So now how we can use it. So now let's start with the code. So this is our emulator and here we will write our code. So as I told you, this is a hook. So first of all, we have to import it from React. Even uh, if you are using VS code, then it can, it could be automatically imported whenever you are just start typing. But again, I just want to just show you like how we can import simply use. Uh, import it like use effect so whenever you will find found use before anything in react native or react js that means this is the kind of hook all right so just simply put there use effect like this and uh, you just need to pass a callback function inside it like this and now whatever you are like uh, right inside this will automatically call whenever you will update uh, any props, any state uh, in your component or while your component is just mounting or you can say that in for fresher this is a you can use a term like uh, whenever your component is reloading or loading that time this uh, use effect hook will be called or whenever you will update any state and prop that time again this use effect will call. How? Let's see. So I am just putting here something let's say hello. And uh, this is not saved till now. You can see that I am just pressing there uh, control S and here you can see that we got that. Hello warning there. That means this is working perfectly fine. Okay. One more thing guys. Don't think like uh, we just defined that function and we have to just call it somewhere. We just have to use it like this. We don't need to call it on click on anywhere. It will automatically call right. Okay. So second thing, as I mentioned you, like uh, it will automatically call whenever we'll update any state and props. For props, we will make a separate video because we will uh, learn use effect in depth in three or four videos because this is really a lengthy feature, you can say that, right? Complex feature. So but state I am just showing you now. So let's say we have a button. And uh, title of this button, let's say. Uh, update counter or something right and now what I'm going to do there I'm just defining a state count and set counter and here use effect use state is basically we have zero perfect after that you can just print this state there so that we can check this is updating or not here you can see that we got zero here perfectly fine on press 
आई एम अपडेटिंग इट कौन सो दिस इज अवर स्टेट लेट मी जस्ट कॉल दिस सेट काउंट एंड देर आई एम पासिंग समथिंग एल्स लेट्स आई एम जस्ट पुटिंग देयर टेन राइट सो अगेन आई एम जस्ट रिमूविंग इट वंस आई विल जस्ट सेव इट अवर कॉम्पोनेट एक्चुअली जस्ट रिलोडिंग एंड दिस हेयर यू कैन सी दैट दिस कंसोल इज जस्ट कॉलिंग सो second case i told you like whenever we will update any state this should called so i am just clicking on the update counter here you can see that value is updated and again we just got that hello so if i am just putting there counter plus 1 every time uh, whenever i will just uh, update it because every time the value will be updated there right so like see that so every time this is basically calling so let me just click again calling removing it again calling this use effect perfect so now you can ask that what is the use of this use effect where we will use so let's say uh, you are just loading uh, on any screen and you want that whenever some user is just uh, come on any screen the list of uh, some users or list of food or any api will be called automatically then how you will call that so if you just uh, write code directly there to call api then that will not work because we have to write code inside a function that time that's why uh, that time it will work perfectly fine right so there is a no way uh, to write the code so that time we can use use effect okay but there is a thing like so okay so in uh, use effect hook we call the api but whenever we will uh, just update any state and uh, props this use effect is called again right and again uh, api hit or our logic will be called again then how to control it for that let's say you want to use this use effect only once whenever your screen is reloading and loading or you can say that mounting for that case only that time just use their comma and empty array there now uh this use effect will work only uh with your component loading reloading or component mounting and it will not work with any state update and props update and all right so let me show you it will call once so if i'm just putting there control s perfectly fine right and now if i'm just updating this counter you can see that this is not calling now all right so that's why i just put a point like uh, how we to how to use use effect for mounting phase because if you just uh, pass there a empty array it will not work in updating a case it will work only in mounting whenever a, your uh, a component is loading reloading and mounting right great second thing i mentioned there uh, use effect as component did mount component did mount is uh, ourself has the meaning like uh, mounting phase so this question can be asked in interviews because in class based component for life cycle method we have a function component did mount and this will only call whenever we are uh, you can say that loading or mounting our screen or mounting our component right so they can ask then how to use use effect as mounting so that you can simply say that as a second parameter just put their uh, empty array and it will work like a component did mount or for mounting phase perfect in next part we will learn that how to use this use effect only for the updating phase or let's say you have five states you want to update uh, you want to call this use effect only for on two or one state you don't want to uh, use this use effect with every state or with every probe then how to handle it we will discuss in the next part so thank you guys thank you so much and uh, i am requesting you to please support me by subscribe my channel like this video and share your feedback thank you guys thank you so much